Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph of an item and I tried to draw it and I did pretty good. I got, I'm gonna, for the video, I'm gonna try to match that angle a little bit better. So let me just take this one, get out of the way. This is, we're gonna use the extrude tool. And to draw that, I'm gonna draw in the center of the page. And I'm gonna just show you, well, I'm gonna just start over. I like drawing in the center of the page and, and you're gonna show, you're gonna see why. I'm gonna make an ellipse and hit P. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate while holding down the shift key, I'm gonna make, you gotta select it. While holding down the shift key, you gotta bring it in. That's gonna give us our ring. I'm gonna make a rectangle. I'm gonna hit P. I meant to grab the zoom button. Huh. Let me zoom in here. I am gonna take that inside shape, holding down the control button, start moving, hold down the control button. I just want something to stop. I'm gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and move the center rotation in the center. And then I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, 180 degrees. Control D. All I'm doing is making a stop. Now let's see how big this thing is. It's less than five. I'm, six is good. I'm going to fill in these spots. And if you see, I'm using the original color, which isn't really a RGB or a, a Corel color anyway. I'm, I'm going to show you how to match that. So now we got that, but to make the extrude tool work, you've got to group this together. We're gonna bring this a little closer so we can kind of get that angle maybe a little bit better. I am going to, you know, one thing they might have done, they might have spun that around a little bit. Now I'm going to get the extrude tool, which is underneath your drop shadow fly out, fly out. And I'm just going to, you've got to grab something and extrude it. And then you can make it less thick and then you can use your rotation. And this is where I didn't really do a good job the first time. I'm going to call that pretty good. Now we're, we're too thick. So I'm going to move the rotation up because I just want a little bit. I don't think I'm at that angle yet. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. That might be too much, but good enough for the video. Now, select that and, and uh, break the extrude part group apart because there's, there's going to be the original on there and you need to get rid of it because we're going to delete some lines. Get your virtual segment delete key and start deleting lines you should not be able to see. Like if this was a solid block coming around here, you shouldn't be able to see um, like that line or that line. It really kind of plays a trick on your mind uh, what some of these curves are. Like we shouldn't be able to see that line or that line. Shouldn't be to see that line. Shouldn't be to see that line. Shouldn't be to see their interior lines if these blocks are solid. Shouldn't be to see the back part of that. We've done pretty good. Let's go up here. Virtual segment leaky. You could not, should not be able to see all that. You will be able to see that curve. And the good thing about this, if you mess up and go too far, um, you can always come back. Whoop. I need to just delete that little corner. Then just take the smart field tool and I'm not going to try to match the colors this time because it's, well, I, I will. 
what I did to match the colors, but I'm going to go in and, and change it. I'm going to I'm going to get a dark color and fill in these darker spots, and then get a light gray and, f and fill in these sides and outside. And then to make that color, I'm on, there's the original picture. All I did was take the smart fill tool, and I don't even know if they care about the original color. Get your eyedropper tool, pick that color, and then put it in there. Now, I think I got the angle better, but I'm a little bit too thick. But it all depends on what they're really trying to do. And I got one more little spot I can see I need to fill in with a gray. If I can hopefully get that same gray. There you go. And then, you know, you could make it a little bit better by uh, right-clicking an outline and make an outline on it. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.